Hi everyone, this is Kalyan Kumar and welcome back to Product Review. In this video, I am going to demonstrate to you two unique and amazing ways of transferring files between an iOS device like an iPhone or an iPad and a Windows 10 computer. Now with Mac, it's pretty simple. You use AirDrop. All you need to do is have your iPhone or an iPad on the same Wi-Fi network as your uh, Mac and then you can transfer files back and forth using AirDrop. It works seamlessly. But with Windows, traditionally people mail themselves and they probably put files in Google Drive or some other cloud servers and then retrieve it on the other device or sometimes even uh, load up files in some messaging apps like Telegram which can take bigger files and then open them up on the other device. But the methods that I'm going to show you are going to be unique and really, really amazing. The first of which is the AirDrop parallel of Windows. I call it Windows AirDrop. Now the difference between a Mac AirDrop and a Windows AirDrop is that in a Mac and an iPad or an iPhone, you don't need an active internet connection. They just need to be on the same Wi-Fi network or same home network. Whereas in the case of the Windows, you do need an active internet connection. And believe me, it's not mail, it's not dropping them in any cloud service. It works just like AirDrop. So let's jump into the computer and I'll show you how it's done. So as you can see, this is my computer. On one side, I have the Google Chrome tab open. On the other side, you'll see my iPad screen. And in both, you can see Google opened up. Of course, you don't need Google for that. Now, all I'm going to do is in my Windows computer, that is on the right side, I'm going to type snap drop. So snap drop is what I'm going to use snap drop. And when I do it, snapdrop.net is what you have to do. And when you reach snapdrop.net, can you see something very similar to your airdrop? Now you are known as Brown Cricket. So it is labeled my computer, this particular browser as Brown Cricket. So let's head into our um, iPad and do the same thing. Snapdrop, snapdrop.net. And as you can see, it's opened up. And now you notice something here. It tells you, you are known as gray hummingbird. So my iPad is a gray hummingbird and it shows the brown cricket, my computer here. And here the gray hummingbird is here. And at the bottom, you have the brown cricket. So if you want to transfer files, so I have some files here. I've specifically made for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you these files uh, being transferred one by one. You can drop them together also. So I have an iPad file. Let me check where they where I've kept it. Um, yeah, this is one. And I've tried to include all sorts of media here. I've, I have an MP3. I have a, a PDF. I have a presentation. I have a Word file. I have an image. So I'll show you all of them. So remember right now it is going from my computer to the iPad. So this is how it's done. So let me first transfer the image, which will be easy to go. I just drag and drop on my iPad. And as you can see, it's coming there. Circle gets completed. And now in my iPad, it says save it. And I say save it. So it's image uh, 0941. Okay, I say download. It gets downloaded in the files app in the download folder. Uh, we'll check that. In fact, if you want, I can check that right now. So, and the moment I come out of here, I'm going to head over to my files app. And in my files app, here I have the image 0941. This is the image that I transferred. If you want, I can show you that same file in my computer. This is the image file. The same stuff. Okay. So now let's transfer some other file. Let me transfer the word file. I transfer the word file. Now suddenly something stops. Why? Because I am not in my browser right now. So let me open up the browser in my iPad. Now if I transfer file, 
see it's not taking up so the best way to do it is okay i think it's done oh file transfer is complete so fast so i say hit save here download here save and i say download it gets downloaded and where is it it's again in the files app and uh, here is the word file that i just downloaded opening up in word and that's it this is the file so go back to files app rather go back to the browser now sometimes if it doesn't work sometimes you drop the file and it doesn't go refresh this both in your computer and in your ipad and it will work so let me also transfer a music file and there it goes save download it gets downloaded head over to the files app and you will see the excel file excel my version and you can play it and it plays so you're not able to hear this but it is playing right now okay so this is how it's done now let's do the other way around let's transfer the file from the ipad to my computer remember the computer is brown cricket so what i'm going to do is i'm going to tap brown cricket on my browser it says what do you want to transfer if i hit browse it will take me the files library let me for this instance just uh, send one simple file and um, let me see which file i have which is easy to go i can probably send this image okay i i say add it's downloading it from the cloud and there it's going it is actually transferring five files together had it been one single file it would have gone very easily one transferred two transferred i see save here save i save it in downloads folder it's a mov file save again now this time it's a jpeg save again save again and save here one more save again the downloads folder one more is coming and behave just like airdrop obviously the faster the internet connection faster this would be but this works just like airdrop so i can go into my downloads folder and all of these things are here because the player is wrongly selected if i were to play this in vlc it will play well and as you can see this is my video that i sent to myself and uh, so anyway so that is one way of transferring files between your windows computer windows 10 computer because i have not tested this in 7 or 8.1 or 8 for that matter so i really cannot say anything about that but in windows 10 it works seamlessly and perfectly just like airdrop remember you have to be in the same wifi network both devices and you need an active internet connection the second method which is probably like a networking computer now generally when two computers are in the same network you can transfer files between them you can do the same even with your ipad now if you want to uh, show all of your files all the drives that are connected to your computer on your ipad you can do it very easily let's jump into it and see how it's done 
So for that demonstration, uh, let me first of all um, close the browser. I don't need the browser anymore. And let me bring this here. Okay. And now what I'm going to do, I simply am going to find out the IP address of my computer. So how do I do that? I say network status. So go to the network status. And here, all you have to know is where, what is your IP address. So I go to properties and then remember the first thing is in the network profile, you need to be in private, not in public because in public, remember everything is hidden. And in private, in your home network, you can share all files and directories. So here, when you go down, you see the IP4 address. In my case, it is 192.168.29.105. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to my iPad, which is here. So what I'm going to do is in my iPad, I go head over to my files app again. And in my files app, I'm going. Yes. So now if you notice the three dots on top, I hit that and then it says connect to server. So I hit connect to server. And you already noticed there is one uh, recent server. This was the computer in which I edit my my videos, which is downstairs. And uh, now I need to put the server name and the IP address of my new computer, the one in which I'm communicating right now. So all I have to do is write SMB. So I'm going to write S M B and then write colon two forward slashes and then type the IP address one nine two dot one six eight dot twenty nine dot one oh five and then hit connect and here you have to write the username and password of your computer and then I hit next and lo and behold it's connected now it's connect I can see the users right so if I go to users, I get this. Now, in my computer, if I show you, let's go to this one and you will see all of that. And you can see the downloads. Let's check the downloads. In the downloads folder, I've got all of this stuff and the same stuff that I have on my computer, I can see all of them. And if I want to copy any one of them, let's say I copy this. So I just press and hold and I say copy. Press and hold it copy and then go back. And on my iPad, choose any folder. Let's say I say screenshots and press and hold and paste and you, you get the document and you can open it on your iPad. So I simply transferred a file from my computer to the iPad so easily, seamlessly. And whatever you put in your computer will automatically be visible. Of course, if you have any drive attached and you want that drive also to be accessible, then make sure that in your computer, you hit the drive, go to properties, go to sharing, First, go to advanced sharing, share this folder, its drive is G, take permissions, you can add any type of control and it's be, it'll be available to everyone. If you have a particular username, you can do that. Right now, I'm doing it for the demonstration purpose to everyone. And, uh, and this is shared. So now if I go back to the file sap you see i will um this is the network i still see users i don't see my other directory because that is because i've just uh, done this after i have uh, 
put that network thing in my iPad. So I eject it. And now it's gone. So let's do it again. Connect to server. As you can see now, I've got two servers. I think this was the, the first one was the one here. And then I say next. And now you can see the G folder. It contains all those files here in my Samsung. You can see the LN plus here. You can see the LN plus here. You can see an advanced thing. You can see an advanced thing. So this is one of the most beautiful ways of transferring files back and forth. So if you want to copy anything from your iPad to this, it's pretty simple. So again, what you do, you go to your iPad, take up uh, any file, let's say. So on my iPad, I go to, let's say test. I've got this particular stuff. I think um, test one videos. I'll take this video. I'll copy this. And then I'll go to the shared. I go to users, let's say, and go here. And then let me go on to the videos tab and uh, try and paste it here. And there it is going. So it's very easy to transfer files now. And this is directly happening through your own Wi-Fi. Again, for this, you don't need an active internet connection. And uh, let's check out my um, Windows computer, this uh, videos. And as you can see, this file has opened. And this is the video file. So everything that was there on my iPad has been transferred here. So that brings us to the end of this particular video. If you want, you can create a separate account on your computer and make that account available only to one folder or you can share only one single folder if you want and dump everything that you want to share with your iPad on that folder. It will be immediately visible on your iPad. If you don't want your entire drive and all the external drives attached to your computer be seen on your iPad. So this is one of the most amazing and beautiful ways of transferring files. So with that, we come to the end of this video. If you like this video, please do hit a, a thumbs up button. And if you like seeing videos like this, please check out this channel. Have a look at all the videos. And if you find them interesting and useful, don't just watch it. Please do subscribe. Your subscription means a lot to small creators like us. That shows your appreciation. And remember, it's for free. You don't pay anything. So please do subscribe and hit the bell icon in order to get all the videos that I upload instantly to you. So with that, this is Kalyan Kumar signing off. Have a wonderful and great day and be safe and I'll catch you in the next one.